ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. What a nice big right hand from Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. It's a mighty list of power punchers that Muhammad Ali has continually faced. You got Joe Frazier on there. You got George Foreman on there. And tonight, now this power puncher opposite. Well, you have two problems with that power. Two of them when you face Ali. One is, how do you land it? You have to find the perfect spot. Maybe catch him, pull him back with his hands down. You know, maybe time him as he's throwing a jab. But very difficult to do. And then the second problem. You have a guy that you're hitting that has a great chin. That is a sharp uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Halfway through this round here. Good work. Good block there by Muhammad Ali. Scored well with the left downstairs. Now a well-placed hook to the head. Watch the hook. Right there, Mike Tyson was able to score well with the hook. Able to get rid of that one. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Little head knocking with that right hand. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down, blue or red corner, what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Turn that hook over but couldn't turn it into a connect. Good job protecting himself. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Keep your distance. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Muhammad Ali's tagged by that powerful hook. Not one, but two. Good work with the jab up top. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. And now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around, staying away. You understand the use of a jab. But when you're coming forward, you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. A little defense turns into offense. He blocks the shot, comes right back with one of his own. Ali's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Fires off that hook. And round number three is underway. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Nice work. The left hand to the head. That straight right unable to connect. Ali's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. There he is from long range using that jab. So if you're on the outside, say, at a picnic, you want to keep those insects away, you use 
insect repellent. While you're on the outside as a fighter, you want to keep your opponent away? That jab, that's the way to go. And he's holding. Good shot to the head with that right hand. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Well placed, straight right hand. Well placed, well timed combo up top. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And he engages in the clinch. Teddy, there's a certain fire that rages in Muhammad Ali. A lot of it has to do with the early days and some things he faced growing up in Louisville. Yeah, I mean, he's a sensitive person. He's a person that takes that sensitivity and he puts it somewhere in a place, as you said, sort of in the furnace that can burn strong. You know, this was during a time where this country was uh, not at its proudest times, the way that it behaved towards black people, towards African Americans. And he remembers that, and he uses that in a positive way, in an athletic way, in a way where it just prospers him career-wise. Our first chance to take a look at Teddy's scorecard here as round number four is underway. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. He's tight. Two snapping nice. jabs by nice. Mike Tyson. Tyson's doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponent. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Ali's way off. Wow! Muhammad Ali goes down. Ali is down, and his opponent put him there with a precision, perfectly placed power punch. Two, three, four, five. Ali's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Tyson's combination punching is working well here. Able to dismiss it. A solid, true uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Teddy, you gotta like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you want to walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. Two snapping jabs by Muhammad Ali. Flush right hand to the head. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Iron Mike lands the left, good. Start of a new round, and I give credit to his corner. Ali's quartermen did a really good job after a round in which their fighter was knocked down of just being calm and cool. The way they're supposed to be. You know, we always talk about the fighter having to be calm and the experience that a fighter has. Well, that corner has plenty of experience. They just showed it. Good double jab by Mike Tyson. Oh! Goes up top with a right hand. Ali's hit by a counterpunch there. There it is! And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? So Muhammad Ali makes that decision that a champion fights on. Gets up after the knockdown. We will see what he still has left. Ali's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. A good, clean, old one-two by Muhammad Ali. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores.
Moving just grabbing on to his opponent. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight. He said he was going to do it from the And bang, and away he goes. Maybe the count. I don't think so here, Kenny. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. The ref stops the fight. Ali's night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance.